coming to you from Fate of the Empress and I wanted to show you something that a lot of people have had a little bit of a hard time with and that's something called Inherit and I need to get my peacock up to I think Inherit 1 at least or um, Pet Bloodline 1 at least so I'm gonna improve it I got another peacock here's why where it's handy let me first say that so this peacock that I have, it's the first one that I pulled from my um, Molde Choice egg, and it has a gift of 82, which is nice. I mean, that's, that's, that's good. But the one that I just pulled, um, I guess it would now be in pets and not my storage. Where are you? Here it is. This one has a gift of 88. So I would like for this peacock to be the main peacock and the other one to be inside this peacock. So I have a little better gift option. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase my bloodline to that one. And now I can condense the glebe core, the glebe core I think it's called this thing so I condensed that and oh hey that gave a good amount of defense and I'll probably do it to the second one so there's more HP but the point is I wanted to do that so that I can inherit so what it's gonna do is it's gonna take that peacock and then I can add oh you can actually do other pets Oh my gosh, my friend Mai is going to freak. So you can upgrade other pets and then put pets inside of pets. Well, that's kind of helpful. I didn't know this until now. That's kind of cool. So they have to have at least a same quality or better. So I guess that Piggy's the only one who has a better gift than this peacock. So that's actually a kind of nice way the game makers are saving you from making a boo-boo because if you were trying to inherit for something like for your 82, you had an 88 gift and then you're trying to inherit it into a 78 pet, that would be backwards and unhelpful. So this, the game makers actually did something helpful here. Good job. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the peacock because I don't want the piggy, although he's cute. Uh, and then I'm going to inherit, which is basically shortcutting the whole like, pet reset thing. So I don't have to reset everything. I can just go straight from this peacock to that peacock. Done, di done deal. Inherit. Done. And now the peacock that i have on jiao chan is down to one it has no none of the things on it it has been emptied and the other peacock has everything so does that make sense i hope it i hope this is helpful because inherit is one of those like super tricky things a lot of my friends have had a hard time with because they can't figure out which bird to put in which spot but it's very obvious the bird that is equipped is the one that gets the gets to give the inherit to the bird that is unequipped. So make sure you have the one that has all the goodies inside of it equipped and then inherit to the one that has empty, no goodies, no upgrades, no anything pet. All right, guys, this has been how to do pet inherit. <laughs> oh, that's my third time. Uh, so I, I did, had to do it a couple times to figure it out first to make sure that I'm going to do it right for you guys. Um, but yeah, and then you just had to like rework your pet so that the one with all the upgrades is then equipped to your hero. And make sure you put your totems and stuff back on because that is an issue. Uh, sometimes I forget. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have questions, comments, uh, anything to add, com please comment and like, subscribe, and have a great day and help each other out.